Chinese scientists are demanding the construction of anti-satellite weapons to counter Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink satellite internet network, claiming the broadband system's possible military applications and threat to China's national security. Welcome, as we uncover the reasons why China is trying to destroy Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. Starlink is made up of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit that are linked to ground terminals to provide high-speed internet connectivity to its consumers. Starlink is a sturdy and durable system, with over 2,300 satellites in service, capable of operating even if some of its satellites were lost. A combination of soft and hard kill methods should be adopted to make some Starlink satellites lose their functions and destroy the constellation's operating system. A team of five senior scientists in China's defense industry, led by Ren Yangzhen, a scientist with the Beijing Institute of Tracking and Telecommunications, wrote in a paper published recently in the Chinese peer-reviewed journal Modern Defense. China should vigorously create countermeasures against Starlink, according to the experts. According to the study, China has to build anti-Starlink capabilities in order to keep and obtain space advantages in the heated space competition. If US drones and stealth aircraft were connected to the Starlink network, Ren projected that their data connection speeds would be 100 times faster. His team also stated that because of Starlink's extraordinary scale and sophistication, it is imperative for China to develop new anti-satellite capabilities to counter the danger. Military payloads may be launched alongside Starlink satellites, according to the team, which would necessitate China upgrading its existing space surveillance systems to snap ultra-high resolution images of the satellites to spot any strange features. In addition to ground-based optical and radar imaging, Ren said China should develop capability to intercept signals from individual Starlink satellites. Anti-satellite missiles would be unable to physically destroy Starlink satellites because the Starlink constellation is a decentralized system. The conflict is about the entire system, not individual satellites. Some low-cost, high-efficiency methods are required, Ren explained. Ground-based lasers are likewise impossible because of the high power required to overcome atmospheric distortion and damage several Starlink satellites in low orbit. As a result, such a laser would require extremely high levels of power, which may be impossible to achieve. China has created a microwave weapon with extreme strength that may be put on its satellites. A relativistic Klystron amplifier, RKA, a hunter-killer weapon, might be used to burn out Starlink satellite sensitive electronics. Taking down individual Starlink satellites, on the other hand, may be an effective way to bring the system down. Furthermore, putting an RKA device on a satellite could have an impact on its performance, as the device could overheat and burn up when exposed to the powerful microwave radiation. As a result, China may build anti-satellite weapons capable of destroying many satellites in a single shot. This technology is exemplified by X-ray lasers. X-ray lasers were first proposed in the 1970s, when it was discovered that lasers magnified by ions have far more energy than lasers amplified by gases, and nuclear explosions were proposed as a power source for these powerful lasers. A nuclear-powered X-ray laser was one of the weapons envisaged in the Reagan administration's Strategic Defense Initiative SDI. This nuclear device was meant to produce a powerful X-ray laser pulse in the event of an explosion. A single bomb could power a network of 50 X-ray laser rods, ranging from length from 1 to 2.5 meters, each aiming towards a different missile thousands of kilometers distant. Hundreds of warheads could be disabled by a single blast. In the 1980s, the US attempted to test such weapons but ran into serious technological difficulties. The beams produced were weaker than predicted, and efforts to concentrate them for precision targeting were unsuccessful. Scientists in the United States have sometimes been accused of faking test findings for personal gain and publicity. Despite the failures, the United States continued to test X-ray laser weapons until 1992. However, X-ray laser technology has progressed in recent years, and the technical hurdles of the 1980s may now be addressed. As one of the few countries possessing X-ray laser technology, China is a likely candidate to develop a similar weapon to destroy the Starlink system, with a team from Shanghai Tech University testing one last year. 
For the first time, China's first X-ray-free electron laser device has taken femtosecond water window band X-ray photographs. Shanghai Tech University hailed the feat in a statement on Friday, saying that it symbolizes that Chinese X-ray FEL research has evolved from facility research and development to user operation phase that can compete worldwide. Late Thursday, the Shanghai Soft X-ray Free Electron Laser Facility SXEFL, completed online picture reconstruction for the first single-shot coherent diffraction imaging experiment in a water window at a wavelength of 2.4 nanometers. A soft X-ray with a wavelength of 2.3 to 4.4 nanometers is referred to as the water window. According to the statement, water is generally transparent to X-rays in this range. Soft X-rays with a water window can examine biological materials and SXFEL can generate high-intensity free electron laser pulses 1 billion times brighter than synchrotron radiation light sources. The progress comes after the 532-meter-long free electron laser facility realized light amplification at wavelengths of 5.6, 3.5, 2.4, and 2.0 nanometers in the middle of May, completing the entire coverage of water window wavelengths. According to the announcement, development on SXFEL began in November 2016, and the facility is projected to be fully operational by the end of 2021. The user operation of the SXFEL facility will begin in 2022, and it will be open to users from all over the world. If weaponized, the system might bring down numerous Starlink satellites in a single strike, reversing the lopsided cost-to-benefit ratio of other anti-satellite weapons, including interceptor missiles, hunter-killer satellites, and even ground-based lasers. China has surely been monitoring events in Ukraine with bated breath and drawing notes for its own Taiwan contingency. Beijing has no doubt observed how U.S. space assets like Starlink have helped Ukrainian resistance inflict massive material losses and military reverses, and it may aim to prevent a similar outcome if it decides to invade Taiwan. The Ukrainian military has apparently been able to monitor and coordinate drones, allowing soldiers to fire anti-tank weapons with exceptional precision and pinpoint targets for artillery strikes using Starlink satellites. The system is said to have helped sink the Russian cruiser Moskva by supplying targeting data to Ukrainian shore-based missile batteries. Ukrainian Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov took to Twitter shortly after Russia's invasion began in late February to request that US entrepreneur Elon Musk activate his Starlink satellites for use in Ukraine. Starlink service is currently operating in Ukraine, Musk responded quickly through Twitter. More terminals are on their way. A number of terminals and powerful batteries arrived in Ukraine shortly after. Others quickly followed suit. Fedorov expressed his gratitude once more on Twitter, writing, Starlink, here, thank you, at Elon Musk. It was a smooth move. There were no classified communications, lengthy deliberations, or governmental or parliamentary oversight. Just a very public bargain between a politician whose country was under attack and a fascinating millionaire who is transforming the world. The Starlink satellites are designed to bring the internet to underserved areas remote from major cities. Apart from military purposes, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky utilizes the Starlink satellites to deliver remarks to the Ukrainian people and national legislatures around the world. According to The Telegraph, Starlink is one of Ukraine's most popular app downloads, allowing more than 100,000 individuals to stay informed about the conflict and communicate with the outside world. Similarly, the United States could use Starlink to defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. On May 23rd, US President Joe Biden announced that the US was committed to defending Taiwan, reversing the US long-standing policy of strategic ambiguity. No one should underestimate the robust resolve, fierce will, and great capacity of the Chinese people in preserving national sovereignty and territorial integrity, China responded immediately to Biden's remarks. China has no place for compromise or concession, said Wang Wenbin, a spokeswoman for the foreign ministry. During an invasion, China may choose to disable GPS to hamper US and Taiwanese navigation and precision attack capabilities. 
However, in this situation, Starlink timing signals may be utilized to replace GPS and pinpoint any position on Earth to an accuracy of 8 meters, making the decades-old satellite system a viable backup. Starlink satellites might also be used to launch improvised anti-satellite weapons against China's own space-based military capabilities. Last year, two Starlink satellites came dangerously close to colliding with China's Tiangong space station, causing the station's crew to take cover. While China sent a diplomatic complaint in response to the events, the United States stayed silent. Furthermore, the US is developing nuclear propulsion technology for its satellites, which, if implemented for Starlink, would give its satellites effective maneuver warfare capabilities in space, increasing their flexibility for both offensive and defensive operations, and increasing their survivability against anti-satellite weapons from China or Russia. Starlink might possibly be utilized as an early warning system for ballistic missiles and hypersonic weapons developed by China. The U.S. Space Development Agency, SDA, inked a $149 million deal with SpaceX in October 2020 to create four missile tracking satellites with strong infrared sensors based on the company's Starlink design. These satellites might form a constellation of space-based sensors, providing targeting data to U.S. missile defense systems and thwarting any Chinese missile attack. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable information like this.